What's going on, guys? We are here once again, Paneloids Podcast. We have Kyle, Dimitri, and myself, Pierre. We're doing a DCEU episode with a lot of DCEU news coming from James Gunn. Kyle, why don't you take it off? So before I start, I'm going to read all of James Gunn's tweets for the simple fact that everything is rumor. And he himself has acknowledged that. So as for the story yesterday in The Hollywood Reporter, some of it's true, some of it's half true, some of it's not true, and some of it we haven't decided yet whether it's true or not. So right there, that means Wonder Woman definitely is canceled. Like that rumor is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he goes, we know we're not going to make every single person happy every step of the way, but we can promise everything we do is done in the service of the story and in the service of the DC characters. We know you cherish and have cherished our whole lives. Lastly, said in his third tweet, has more answers about the future of the DCU. I will sadly have to ask you to wait. We are giving these characters and stories the time and attention they deserve. And we ourselves still have a lot more questions to ask and answer. I feel like he said a lot and didn't say anything. I agree. Well, he did an interview and I think he got in trouble a little bit. And I think things he said kind of helped push some of these rumors along. But let's start with Wonder Woman 3 supposedly canceled. When it actually had this whole new direction and creative team it kind of had this whole revamp and uh sounds like they're gonna go another way so with that any thoughts two words thank god and jesus christ i do like the immediate prospect of maybe she's moving on to something else she's not bad i just think that what she was given was bad and the story was bad the direction was bad it just didn't work she had sex with a stranger who was technically not a stranger because it was her dead ex-boyfriend who spirit controlled the stranger so i didn't see wonder woman 2 or was it 19? <laughs> I don't know what it was called. I just didn't see it. I don't even think I saw half. I think it was like a quarter. I guess the next question is, Gal Gadot, if she's out of DCEU, are we going to see her in MCU? Or is she just going to go do more Fast and Furious? I'm good with so, her disappearing from the DCU. Wow, well, okay. And you don't want her as a Marvel MCU character? I don't care for her as an actress mm, at all. Heard it here. Pierre hates Gal Gadot for no apparent reason. I think she can do a lot better. Gal Gadot could be anyone in the MCU. No. Next, Man of Steel 2, supposedly <laughs> canceled. <laughs> I think this is a good idea. Now, do you think it's a good idea because you want all of the current Snyder leftovers to be thrown out? So the problem with it is we're going to either continue his story or he's going to do something totally new. If you're going to take the budget for his new movie, do a new direction. For it them. just creates so much confusion. Just cut that and release Batgirl. They can't legally anymore. Well, then they're fucked. Like they've already twice. cashed in on it, so Batgirl can never be released legally. Fuck themselves twice. So, my question though is do you want no Man of Steel because you want Snyder's shit to be over with now and all reboot, fresh start? Or I because you just be. don't want more? Henry Cavill, Man of Steel. I think all of the Snyderverse stuff needs to go away. So hard reboot. Pierre, do you want hard or soft reboot? Hard. I think I do too. I think that James Gunn is capable of doing soft reboot as we saw in The Suicide Squad. Because you go from one of the worst DC movies ever made to making a sequel of it and just throwing the in front of it and being one of the best DC movies ever made using half of the characters in the same concept. I mean, we know he's capable, but why are they going to pay... Affleck, Henry Cavill, Gal Gadot, when no one really gives a shit about them as those characters. And to both of your points, if they do a soft reboot and they don't take those three, that means the DC Holy Trinity isn't going to be in the movies. And how do you start when the Trinity wasn't great to begin with? Like those three are like the building blocks of everything DC. 50% of the comics that come out are Batman comics. But how do you do that in the movies? None of them are in it. Like it just doesn't line up. I don't know if soft reboot is possible at this point. I like a hard reboot. I'd like to see Battinson actually make a little bit more of a move within this hard reboot. Well, the rumor with him is there will be outside of DCEU films. And basically mm. that's what he will remain. It is a side story that he's not going to get any characters in his films outside of Batman characters. I'd like for him to be more like the early years of batman and then the batman that's in justice league and all the little stories that we get with superman crossovers whatever it is to be basically a grown-up version of that batman and i don't think you can do that with ben affleck i mean i think that's cool but i do think that they should start fresh if they're gonna do this over the top like marvel's done and actually embrace the science fiction part of the comics and have batman be part of that science fiction part which has never really been done before yeah they probably should just start with a brand new batman i'd even be down from that guy from supernatural not someone like super expensive, just that fits the role in the body type. Ackles. Yes, that dude. 
Can I ask you a quick question? Would you like to see a Batman Beyond with Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne? I would take a Batman Beyond with any Bruce Wayne actor. Anyone who's portrayed him, I would take it. These movies that actor was Batman in doesn't have to be canon. It just would be nice to see someone reprise the role. Like, you could take George Clooney, it would work. Clint Eastwood would have been perfect. Well, yeah, but now he's a little too old now. So another movie, Aquaman 2. We can guarantee that it's going to be the last one, and it's not going to sum anything up. I mean, the movie's already a disaster. They're literally cutting out. The first supporting character, probably the most screen time next to Aquaman, she's being removed from the film. So just there, it probably would have been the last. But with all this shit happening, it's rumored to definitely be the last. And then if that opens an even bigger rumor that Jason Momoa could be Lobo. Now, do you see them canceling Aquaman and bringing back Momoa instantly to be Lobo? And do you see that happening even if it's a soft reboot? Like, just, this is him, this is who he's ever been, and we just never acknowledge that he kind of looks like Aquaman? Because that's a James yeah. Gunn thing to do, in my opinion. Like, he would definitely do that. Just I like it. take him and, oh yeah, like, he did play Aquaman before, who's arguably a much bigger character than Lobo, but here we are, it's better. Like, I could see that. I think they would benefit from, like you said, if you're going to have the Trinity, I think having something outside of that build with characters that we wouldn't expect to be bigger characters. What if they just started making it separate again? Like, you know how that was my biggest gripe with DC. I felt like when it first came out and they were making the DCU, they mm -hmm. were trying to catch up with Marvel and they rushed through all their origins. The Wonder Woman origin came out after Justice League. Like, it just came out completely wrong. They didn't let you grow with these characters and love them, you know? Like, mm -hmm. although you grew up with them in comics, it's not the same once you move them to TV or movies. And I feel like, right. at least with Marvel, they started with Iron Man and slowly kind of built this whole universe. I feel like DC needs a hard reset. Take your time, do your origins, do your separate movies, do a Lobo movie if you want, like on the side, like start setting up like these little side ventures, side teams, you know, even like a Teen Titans, that'd be fucking sick to see. Mm -hmm like live action you know there's so many teams that everyone's focused on justice league and seeing how that flourishes and how he's going to fix that but why not focus on the other teams i like that with your iron man statement iron man wasn't part of the trinity at marvel he wasn't top three mm -hmm. so do the same thing with dc pick someone who's not top three that would be the first movie that would plant just a little scene in the after credits to set up another movie with a little scene in that one to maybe in a third movie have that character meet somebody what would be your first lobo i feel like that'd be your deadpool card i agree with that jumps through movies pulls in characters does like stupid shit yeah and he would cover space mm -hmm. while someone else would cover like a grounded yeah. character green lantern so that's what i was gonna say because the only thing not getting affected by this rumor was the recent announcement that the green lantern hbo max project is not only still happening but is completely revamped with john stewart i think john stewart could be the first seat and they could build a 90s style justice league starting with him but from him you could get hawk girl from there you could then get martian manhunter from there you get the original trinity and that slowly builds the team that's the only one that hasn't had anything really change from it or dramatic come out of it so right. it sounds like it's going right full sci-fi it's space like it just sets the standard for all of it i'm curious if this means blue beetle's done like is it gonna get released i can't imagine it's not i mean they just dropped a poster it looks cool but it doesn't tell you anything it was one poster and it didn't I know, have but images on it other than a symbol the suit looks so sick no i still don't like the suit big head but yeah shazam 3 is probably canceled not that it oh, was yeah. in production yet but they always intended for it to be a trilogy black adam we think that's getting any more canceled mm -mm. i heard someone say that it was worse than thor love and thunder so i figured you guys would uh, appreciate that heard to it as basically throwing piss at your audience oh, oh cool nice. that's that's <laughs> quite the review and the rock only has two emotions he's very limited in his acting he just smiles or he's upset and he believes Wait. he definitely takes steroids <laughs> oh i did see that one where they were like look at him it's not physically possible yeah we won't talk about this possible steroid use of anyone the back Batman 2 should be fine, unaffected. Moving yeah. forward, the assumption and rumors, Mr. Freeze. I think it'll be Mr. Freeze with a tad bit of owls, which hopefully gives Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo a big paycheck. Mm. Probably mm. not. I think there's a hush story there. If not this one, the next one. Definitely see the way that movie is if they're picking villains. Maybe they'll do Firefly as a side character, maybe a Bane, but it's all going to be like, you know, technology based. Bane won't happen. You don't think so? No, because they would have to CGI him. He's going to have it in the DCEU 
you, I don't think James Gunn is going to miss an opportunity to make him the bulky, stupid character. If you watch Harley Quinn, the TV show, they utilize him to do that. They made him so dumb. I don't actually like I don't think he's going to be that dumb, but I do see him being like a Drax type of like big hulky person. I can see him being in either the next Suicide Squad or if they do like a Legion of Doom or something like that, mm. which I can easily see them doing that type of movie. Well, I saw a rumor where they do Justice Society. That would be cool for a Flash movie where he accidentally goes back in time. Jake right? He fights alongside yeah. them and he has to try to get back to his time. I don't hate fighting. that. Like, you don't hate it? Guess what? It's actually a movie that already happened. I just literally just took a cartoon movie that's already out and just pitched it. I was going to say, I think it's been done in the Flash TV show. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah so, oh it's on hbo it's flash goes back in time fights alongside the justice society oh yeah i remember seeing that yeah okay so should we get one more movie to wrap things up and to like end whatever is going on now or should we just i just think from a business perspective they're not going to if they're going to do a hard reboot if it's a soft reboot they absolutely need to i think that's important and i don't think it could be the flash movie anymore for obvious no. reasons because that seemed like it was going to be it was going to literally flashpoint rewrite shit in more of a rebirth style although that movie's still coming out apparently and supposedly really good and rated really high i, I just don't, don't get believe it. it if we're cutting movies why not just cut the problematic movies like i don't get it i would rather see batgirl at this point just not to support all of that nonsense as good as yeah. it is not only that i would be very open to you more so watch the show but like take the flash actor from mm. the cw show and use him there's no reason why you can't same as green arrow he's open to it apparently i yeah. would love to see green arrow in like a uh, batman just popping in to one of those movies or a spin-off show green lantern green arrow comics where they fought together yeah it would be cool if he was a cameo in the green lantern show but again Again, the Flash movie could have been the wrap-up movie, for sure. I don't know if it's still capable of being. I don't know if it's ever going to come out. But if it is hard reboot, then no. Drown it all. Put it all out of its misery and call it a day. Just make a media post, like a Twitter post, and say, like, yeah, starting with this, this is our new direction going forward. Everything else is no longer a thing. So I guess the last question is, to both of you, do you think, if we're doing this from scratch, James Gunn, completely his vision, however the fuck he wants, yes, with the Suicide Squad in mind, should everything be R-rated? Oh, no. Yeah, why not? Well, I could say why not, because they're so concerned about the sales for children if it's all r-rated you're not going to put green arrow who shoots arrows into people's chests you're not going to put that on kids t-shirt and yeah, i think that's no. the one thing stopping them from doing r-rated why we've only seen one percent of all superhero movies be r-rated i mean i'm yeah. for it obviously i mean that would be such a slap in the face to marvel like we're gonna do what you can't and this is what makes us different there's blood right <laughs> i just think that if we're going off of marvel you know deadpool logan like it shows like mm. this works like why not just go full speed with it it needs to be darker and grittier in my opinion not the way they try to make it darker and grittier but still keeping it pg-13 right i don't really like the grittiness i'm glad they actually brought that up i don't like how dark and gritty they made everything it just looks shitty like a bad filter yeah. over everything i hate to say it, but i think that was Zack snyder's thing like i think he's known for that <laughs> yeah wasn't a fan of it even the snyder cut i was like okay it's still more of the same bullshit i didn't really need i mean i enjoyed it a lot like i think it was really great i just don't think it was good enough to be the working grounds like it was too much garbage before it and too much garbage after it for there to be hope in the snyder cut you know which is not canon for the record no i agree that it shouldn't be snyder verse dark and gritty but i like the new batman direction dark and gritty i think they can do that i think that works over just about every everything even if they do a justice society or all the other shit i feel like there's a certain aspect of superman that you gotta get though like you can't be that way necessarily with superman and i feel like that's where it becomes a challenge of combining that level of like grittiness and then superman whatever happened to michael b jordan superman Ooh. how open are they to the multiverse well that was my next statement of forget all of the reboots and everything earth 2 and tell all of the dc stories in earth 2 fashion batman's first robin his daughter with catwoman like just do all of that just completely earth 2 like everything everything oh, yeah. earth 2. they've done so much of nonsense now just do earth 2 no no one wants to see that no one would know the difference if we're being honest i agree if you don't say green lantern's full name even then they're not gonna know 
You know what I mean? Like, just do it in a way where it's no. similar, but it's not. We want Damien. How I mean, far away do you that. think they are from Damien? I don't think we'll ever see Damien. And yeah, that is our DCEU yeah. update episode of Paloids Podcast. Paloids. Yeah, whatever. I don't think we can do episodes in the dark anymore. Our energy was so fucking low. <laughs> I don't think it's acceptable. So, uh, the lights don't help. Mine is a ball. Hello, this is Panel with Podcast. Yeah, you look like you were too lazy to put Christmas lights up. And you just got one of those projectors and stuck it on the lawn. Dimitri, you're like trying to develop photos. Like, I don't know what the fuck we're doing here. <laughs> Like, this is a glowing orb with my, like, wedding anniversary on it. Like, that's the only lights I got going on here. Panel lights. Sing the Christmas song, Pierre, and take us out. Oh, it's Christmas time here. We're Christmas sing together. It's Christmas time with three men in one room. Three men, three men in a room. It's Christmas time. We got presents and presents, presents and presents. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. What happened? What a disaster. Yeah. Anyways, good night. Fell on <laughs>